Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody for coming to my channel. I saw that The Quartering shared my last video, which is really cool. So welcome to my channel, everybody. I'm glad you're taking interest in this, and I do encourage you to join me in these investigations. I love all of you guys, new and old. And also, Happy New Year. Let's get into it. Hi kids, it's Saturday, December 28, 2019, and we are going to scrape some Rotten Tomatoes reviews of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And we're just doing the verified audience for starters. Thanks to John Talks who got us the membership for this scraping software. And we're going to see how it works. I'm not an expert at it, but it's so easy. It just does it. It knows what I'm trying to get automatically. I put in the URL for the verified user reviews. It scans it and it just figures what it is we came for. And it's going to scrape them for us once we push start. So I'm going to let it do its thing for quite some time and see if it gets through all of them, which is like 50,000 at least, I think. And of course, it looks kind of cool. If anybody knows of a software that does this, but maybe is free or better in some type of way, please make it known. And thank you to John Talks also for informing me on his stream how Fandango is connected to Disney and the former CEO of Disney's online stuff now works at Fandango. And he read me that guy's bio. And yeah, he kind of pointed out to me how they're connected and I definitely see it now. I ran into some technical errors while trying to scrape these reviews. I did get 6,000 reviews scraped, which is much more than initially and it is a different sampling of reviews because it's the most recent 6,000 verified user reviews. So I got those. However, it shouldn't have stopped at 6,000. I don't know why it stopped there. It's not because of an account limitation, but it just straight up stopped at 6,000, which was like page 200 and something of clicking that next button on their freaking review part on the web page. So I don't know. I'm sure it's something I can fix on the software. I had to I'm blindly doing this, and I don't expect anybody else to really be familiar with it because it's very, un like, rarely used, rarely mentioned type of software. But I know all the answers are out there on the internet, so I'll, I will find them and see why it, it didn't complete and do all 50,000 or however many there are at this point. The software is friendly, but there's a lot to it, a lot of things you can do to it. You have to basically be a programmer to really get into it. Um, so I'm going to try my best. Let's get into what we did find. And I ran it through the text analysis again. And I'll show you all these phrases that keep appearing and, and the names and all that stuff. I put it into this text analyzer, this online place, online-utility.org. Out of 6,000 of these reviews, here's some interesting data. Some of the top phrases containing five words, way to end the saga, appears 61 times. Saga appears 926 times out of 6,000 reviews. One thing I noticed is the word saga is interchangeable with story and trilogy. So saga appears 926 times. Story appears 942 times. Trilogy appears 500 times. So story and saga and trilogy, I've, they're just interchanged from what I could tell. So you get the same variations of generic reviews, but they'll just change those words. And I noticed on IMDB, um, they don't seem to have the same problem. I mean, I'm sure there's maybe some fakery going on over there of their own kind, but I didn't really notice all the saga comments that I noticed over at Rotten Tomatoes. So plus the, the reviews on IMDB just tend to be a lot longer. I don't know if they have a minimum word count, but that's a good thing to have. Make them flesh out their review. You just don't see a whole lot of great ending to the saga nonsense. Great way to end the appears 59. Better than the Last Jedi appears 35 times. End to the Skywalker Saga appears 34. A fitting end to the Saga Epic Trilogy, whatever, 32 times. <laughs> you get the picture. You can see it. A must see appears 97 times. So basically, it seems like they just took these sentence fragments and just has some algorithm that makes variations on them. I could be wrong. It's just a theory. As with last time in my last video, the names are the most generic, most common names in America, but more specifically, they are the most common white male names. The names that you will find on the list if you look up the most common American male names 
That's what's on here. It's ridiculous. And they're evenly distributed. Again, it's as though black people or people of any other color don't go to the movies to see Star Wars when they sure the hell do. So out of this 6,000, the most popular name was again, Michael. There were 132 Michaels that left reviews out of this 6,000 that we sampled. 102 Johns with an H, 92 Davids, 68 James, 63 Chris, 49 Brian, 47 Daniel, 47 Scott, 47 Jason, 43 Anthony, 43 Mark, 42 Andrew, 42 Mike, and you just see it's just funny how evenly distributed it, it can be. As everybody knows, most Scots in the United States don't have a last name. But the ones that do here, we have Scott B, B, uh, B, 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 and C, D, G, H, K, M, N, S, T, V, W. There's so much stupid about this. I can't even fathom all of it. That's why you guys can go ahead and go through the data and pick through it if you feel like it. I guess only white people go to watch Star Wars. Interesting, huh? I mean, it's all circumstantial evidence, but it just seems like they have fragments of sentences being used that they can mix and match. Maybe it's AI, maybe it's the algorithm that does it. Seems like it, honestly. That's about it for now. The data is linked in the description, and we're gonna need to find a different software. If, if somebody knows of an open source way to do this, because it's 50 bucks a month. I'm not going to pay 50 bucks every time a movie worth scraping comes out. I'm not going <laughs> to. That's just me. Plus, and they still limit you to 10,000 a day at that point, and they throttle the speed at which it scrapes. It's like, really? There's got to be a better alternative. Um, do tell if you know of one. But yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and Happy New Year. Be safe. Yeah.